Hey, 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 welcome, welcome guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my podcast and my YouTube channel. If you are streaming via YouTube or my podcast, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to do so. So today we're doing a daily vibration for January 20, 2020. 120, 2020, right? Uh, vibrated on number seven today, so there's going to be a lot of inner going on. Uh, you know, the number seven represents a lot of inner work, right? Uh, now, before we jump into your vibration today, I just want to remind you guys that these vibrations are posted daily at 12.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you guys can definitely check out the description box below to find out all of the specials. Major shout out to my girl Kim Warner. You can also find her information in the description box below. She does natal charts and natal chart reports. Brief description in the description box uh, if you're tuning in via YouTube. And if you would like that information, you guys can definitely email me um at the number four your inner voice at gmail.com the same way the channel is spelt it's the same way my email address is spelt at gmail.com okay guys so full moon meditation was on the 10th now coming up this friday on the 24th we will be doing the new moon meditation and after the new moon meditation we well uh i have a few people from the 13 week crew that's going to be joining me and a few people from the live also shared interest of joining me i will be doing a fast for 28 days or well you can say for the next until the next moon cycle okay now, um, as the week go by, I will give you guys more details. So if you are interested in joining us in a new moon meditation this Friday coming up on the 24th, it will be for a $20 donation. Um, and if you're tuning in via my podcast, I will give you that donation information at the end of the segment. If you're tuning in via YouTube, you can find that in the description box below. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be setting intentions as well as Mark, uh, working on manifestation within this new uh, moon cycle that's coming up so it's the first new moon of the year uh, and we are going to use that energy to solidify exactly what we want our year to be like okay uh, so today we're vibrating on the number seven okay um, now, the number seven is all about inner work, okay? So we're talking about intuition, which is part of the inner work. And you guys know how I talk about intuition is available to you all day, every day. Whether or not you choose to tap into it is your... Um, it's up to you, but it is available to you all day, every day, okay? Now, we also have inner strength available today, inner knowing available, inner standing in, uh, available. <laughs> um, when you understand something um on the outer level that's fine but there is a level of understanding that one needs to arrive to within self okay now one of the reasons why i am going to be going on this fast for 28 days and my you know everybody's fast can be different you can fast from um sugar you know you can fast from social media i personally can't do that because of my business but you can fast from television you know watching the news watching ratchet tv like you can fast from whatever it is you feel you need to um, so I am going I am going to be fine-tuning um, my fast as well as my cleanse and my detoxification for the next 20 uh, um, 20 something well 28 days for the next moon until the next uh, uh, full moon uh, because I need to take care of myself a little bit more so this is going to be my reset okay for the new year uh i will be sharing uh the whole process with you guys so we're going to go through this process together so if you want to be able to be a part of the community you guys can definitely tune in um for the until the next full moon cycle because we're going to tackle it day by day okay using the vibrations as a guide to get us through this uh transition or this detox okay or this cleanse however you want to label it you know whatever labels labels are just labels right uh with power behind of them so i am going to be detoxing and i hope you guys can can join me so whatever you feel you need to detox from you can find support system here okay now also we do have depression energy in the atmosphere today as well as stagnation energy like feeling like shit is just not moving today uh so be mindful of that we do have prideful energy in the atmosphere today and pessimistic energy in the atmosphere today so be mindful of that also now 
one of the things that I, I, I talked to my 13 week crew about yesterday was, um, fear and anxiety and realizing that even within this spiritual walk, um, no matter how far along you are, there are still times, um, and especially if you've entered a new level within your spiritual awakening or within your spiritual awareness, and this is something new for you, just like a new job, for example. Um, if you have a new job and it is not something that you were trained in, and this is new training that you have to receive, okay, may it be working on a machine, may it be processed in paperwork, whatever that is, you may have a little bit of anxiety or a little bit of nervousness um, uh, within you being able to do your job to the best of your ability for the first couple of weeks. You may not be as confident, you know. But by week three, by um, definitely by a month, and you have it down packed, okay? So it may take you a week. It may take you two weeks to get a little comfortable. But a month, and you should be feeling a lot more comfortable. And that's the same thing that you can experience in transition in this spiritual walk. Now, one of the reasons why I have committed myself to jump on here daily um, and post these videos is because I, myself personally, have realized how um, I can get in my own way, right? Um, one of it being a perfectionist, right? And so procrastination was coming through as me being a perfectionist. Okay, so I had to just shut that down. So I've committed myself, okay, to be able to post uh, encouraging and inspiration daily, right? Now, these videos, like Real Talk, they're about you guys, but they're also about me too, because these videos are also a way of my highest self being able to communicate and talk to me as well as talk um, through me, okay? And so, as we're moving through today, and um, we're getting ready to approach the first new moon uh, energy of the month, okay? I, I just want you guys to be mindful, because I don't care what type of spirituality you, you, you practice, right? Um, you know, like, it really doesn't matter. I don't even care what type of religion you practice. There is no one out there that can deny that there's not some type of energetic force or energetic field, call it God, call it, call it Allah, call it your chakra systems, call it gateways, call it whatever you want to call it, right? There is still a um, powerful source of energy that innately lives in each and every one of us, okay? There is a power and an energy that lives in all things, okay? Now, no matter what religious text you're studying, it always talks about this power that dwells, okay? Now, can I tell you, even like, you know, I grew up in the Bible, I studied the Bible, and one of the things that the Bible expressed to you was that power and that source dwelled within you, okay? Now, it is easy for you to get in the holiday season, especially, uh, can be draining to some people because there's, you know, you, there's, there's this, all this built up. You spend all this wonderful time and energy with family and there's beautiful energy transfer between you, family, friends, you know, uh, and some of you, if you're in patch and your light workers can tend to give a lot of energy and then maybe you're feeling uh, a little depleted after the holidays or maybe even feel like you need to tap out and take some time out. I know personally that's how I am feeling. There is energy in the atmosphere right now that I think you guys do need to be mindful of. And that is this heavy, um, maybe even anxious energy for some of you that are uh, stepping into new things, right? That may not be um, something that you're familiar with, right? So there could be a little bit of anxiousness around there. There could be a little bit of anxiousness about you manifesting something because it's something bigger than you've ever um, tried to manifest, right? So you're, you, you've now shifted your paradigm on how to manifest. So now you're feeling a little bit nervous and anxious to, to know if this stuff really works, okay? Where, where Whatever it is, um, that can usher in anxiety without you even noticing that's what's going on. I want you guys to be mindful that this energy is there, okay? And it can show up in so many different ways. This can show up with you feeling depressed. This can show up with you having mental um, attacks because you just feel like things are not moving. You feel like you should be doing something, but you don't quite know what to do. This can come across with some of you being very prideful as well as boastful, I want to say, is coming out. Um, 
um, and this can this this energy can also come across as pessimistic pessimistic energy if you're looking at it from a lower vibrational uh, end okay what I do want you guys to understand is that you are exactly where you are supposed to be with any given time space and, and moment and if you can wake up to that uh, as well as you meet no one but yourself if you can also wake up to that right now there, there are paradoxes within this journey that you're just going to have to accept, okay? Um, one, like you meet no one but yourself, right? Um, the other one where up is down and down is up. Like everything is really reversed. In is out. So what you would consider to be out is really in. And what you would consider to be in is really out, okay? So the inner world is really... Um, is really where you want to get to because that's what's manifested out, um, outwardly, okay? So be mindful of that as we're transitioning and moving through this energy. Tap into your intuition. Tap into your inner strength. Tap into your inner knowing. Face the things that you feel uh, you're afraid of. Uh, like I said, I was talking to the 13-week group and, I, um, and the epiphany popped up. Oh my gosh, this you know, like fear of success was trying to creep in again, right? So my one of the fears that I've dealt with in the past was fear of success. It wasn't fear of failure because anything I know I put my mind to and I set my intent on and I, I, I say this is what I am going to accomplish and this is what I'm going to do, it gets done, okay? So I am not even um, talking about feeling like I can't accomplish something because that's not, that's not it. If I have to study, if I have to practice, if I have to do, I am going to do what I need to do to be successful at, um, at what I am um, out to accomplish. However, the fear have been success because with success comes responsibility, okay? And sometimes you're not just responsible for yourself, but you're also responsible for others, okay? Now, with that being said, this is why it's important for you to be able to, one, trust your intuition, Understand your inner strength, right? Tap into that inner knowing from within and that inner peace that dwells within, right? And 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 really understand yourself, like inner stand yourself, and that can mean um, standing on your belief system that you've now created a new belief system. And real real talk, like if you're still holding on to someone belief system or someone um. Uh, limitations of how you should live your life or, uh, or, or what you can accomplish. There needs to be some things being reevaluated within, within you. Now, now, if you're the one limiting yourself, you also need to reevaluate that. And I, I can tell you right now, we all go through a phase like that. Like, seriously, real talk, I've had to reevaluate myself. Like, within the past two weeks, the energy has been shifting. I've been having, you know, all these different new clients as well as my old clients, making sure that I'm taking care of the kids, that I have neglected myself. I, I You know, and I sat back and I tracked back to when did this all really start happening. And it started happening, like, around the holidays. Like, maybe right after Halloween, coming up into, you know... Thanksgiving, then before you know it, it's Christmas, and then before you know it, it's New Year's, and then by New Year's, you're feeling like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Where did I lose myself? And that's just me personally, okay? And once again, hence the um, the detox and fast, right? So that comes from me getting to a place where there's an inner knowing that I need to reconnect with myself, and there's an inner standing that I have not really been taking care of myself, and... Um, you know, I need to also practice what I preach. And this is not taking care of yourself just on a physical level, but this is also taking care of yourself on a mental level and as well as an emotional level, okay? Now, so um, once again, if you guys are not going to be able to join us for the new moon meditation, you can still take part of this journey of detoxing. And it could just be detoxing from negative thinking. Like whatever it is you need to detox from, you guys can come join us starting um, the 24th on the new moon. Okay. So let's jump into my wonderful earth signs. We're going to start off with my Capricorns and just tap into your energy. Okay. So Capricorns, you have the seven of coins and the seven of coins is pointing towards the, um, the past. Okay. And what I'm picking up intuitively, because this is, um, purple border. If you can see this represents crown chakra energy. 
um, particular in this deck, okay? So just, uh, this deck does not represent crowd chakra energy with like a, a gray or white. It does it with purple for those of you that study chakra, okay? Now, um, the seven of coins, you may have feel like you have placed some investment in some things from the past, right? So just know your message is whatever you've been investing in, abundance is yours to have, okay? So walk with that inner knowing today. There's going to be a sense of inner knowing. Just walk with that inner knowing. Whatever that is, just walk with that. Embrace that today, okay? Virgos, you do have the Hierophant popping up today, right? And the Hierophant is all about you being able to... Um, I want to say this, this is your belief system. This is your the traditions that you've grown up with, right? This is, um, I want to say, what you conformed your life around, okay? So now today, traditions... Um, Plus the unexpected. Be open today for your belief systems. Um, I want to say to even be shifted today is what I'm hearing. Right? You're going to be able to identify some things within self today. And some things that you, you thought were um, traditions and belief systems that may not work for you as well anymore. My wonderful Virgo. So just be mindful of that. Okay? Now... My wonderful Taurus, you guys do have the King of Coins. So today you guys may just have money on your mind. This could definitely be about security. This is also about discipline and I feel like control um, uh, as well as abundance, okay? So, uh, yeah, a lot of you, uh, and, and just um, a lot of you, and this is intuitive energy also, my wonderful uh, Taurus, okay? So they're asking you to just use wisdom today as you're executing the things that needs to get done, especially when it has to do with your finances and your living situation today. That's going to be key, okay? What a sign starting off with my wonderful Scorpios. You do have the Princess of Wands popping up today. So this is be open to explore new avenues today, okay? Just be open to explore, especially when it comes to do with love, forgiveness, and compassion um, of self. Import, most importantly of self, okay? Uh, you may be gaining realization today 